lighting candles and leaving messages. People paying their respects tonight to beloved TV icon Orson Bean, who was killed while crossing the street. Many are gathering in Venice where it happened to talk about the 91 year old actor and comedian, but also to honor his life. That is where KCAL Lines' Lori Perez is live tonight with how he is being remembered. Lori? Yes, throughout the day and night tonight, we've been watching as people have been stopping here, leaving flowers near the spot where Orson Bean died. And then just feet away tonight at the Venice Theater he loved, they are celebrating his life and his legacy. This morning, my wife says to me, put mousse in your hair. It makes, <laughs> makes you look 20 years younger. 67. Orson Bean is being remembered tonight for always keeping him laughing on and off stage. Every time I would meet him, I would leave with a smile. He, I swear, is the greatest example of always living a creative life. From the original Twilight Zone to dozens of TV sitcoms and dramas, Bean was a working actor for almost 70 years, and Dick Van Dyke knew him for the last 65. We were knocking around New York together as young comedians, and uh, I, I had him on our show on uh, Diagnosis Murder, but uh, I was kind of the, the physical comedian, he was the intellectual comedian. A wit that kept Bean busy acting all his adult life, like in this scene from Grace and Frankie, released just last month on Netflix. If I'd known it was my wedding day, I, I would have stolen a comb. Here at the Pacific Resident Theater in Venice, Van Dyke and friends held a private vigil for Orson Bean tonight. We're told he was due to start rehearsals here soon on a play he wrote himself. He spent so much time here in his later years acting and on the board of trust nurturing his own creativity and inspiring others. You know, I'm just like uh, an actor in the company, you know, and, and he's Orson Bean. And, um, but he never made you feel like that, you know. It was near his beloved local theater where he lost his life. Police say a car hit Bean as he was walking on this busy roadway in Venice last night. Before anyone could get to him, a second car ran him over. Friends say he was walking from his house to the theater to meet his wife for a show. That play went on tonight with thoughts for an actor who has left his fans and his friends wanting more. He was, he was in this day and age a gentleman. Miss him. Now this is all still so fresh. There's no word yet on whether the planned production of the play that Orson Bean wrote himself will still go on. In Venice, I'm Lori Perez, KCOM 9 News.